to SP Dr. Code Tutorial Series. This is part 7 where we will discuss what is medieval layer component and all about this. Okay, so let's start without wasting time. So our agenda is already set. What is ASP.NET Core medieval layer component and where it exists in request processing pipeline in ASP.NET Core. Okay, and I will also strongly suggest you to watch the ASP.NET Core tutorial series and link is given in the description of this video and all sources available on my blog. So let's start. So in request processing pipeline, you can see on the screen when a browser send a request to the server, then in the middle of them, there are several middlewares in ASP.NET Core pipeline. Okay, so this pipeline is very important. When you can see there is middleware 1, middleware 2 and middleware 3. So when middleware 1 allow the request to move to middleware 2, then only it will move to request 2 and request 2 if passes the request 3, only in that case it will goes to middleware 3. Okay, so middleware is plays a very important role. We can add pre-processing logic or post-processing logic of every middleware. Okay. So let's understand what are the main core important points of middlewares. Okay, so middleware component comes in ASP.NET Core request processing pipeline. Okay, and it decides whether the request passed to next middleware in the pipeline or not on the basis of certain conditions and we can add logic and we can add logic before and after the middleware component in the request processing pipeline and in ASP.NET Core processing pipeline request delegates are used to build the request pipeline and request delegate handles each HTTP request so the important point is here the delegate which is responsible for executing the HTTP request and managing run configuration so request delegate can be specified inline as anonymous method called inline middleware or it can be defined in a reusable classes okay so the reusable classes and inline anonymous method are middleware or we can also call them middleware components this is a very important line regarding delegate and anonymous method okay when a middleware short circuits it means it calls a terminal middleware because it prevents further middleware from processing the request as i shown you in the previous slide because in the current middleware we can specify any logic any further pre or post processing logic on the basis of that it decide either it should go to the next middleware or not if there is any error what we want to do how we want to handle that request in request processing pipeline okay so you can see uh, for your understanding I shown you on the startup.cs file this is the example of ASP.NET Core uh, app blank project that I have created I have already discussed about this in my previous previous videos so you can see in this configure method there is a I application builder object is there okay and this object is used mainly to call any middleware components okay so let me show you some few important uh, middleware components so the example of uh, com uh, middleware components are use HTTP redirection use a static file uh, this is a very famous uh, middleware component cookies regarding routing we use app dot use especially when we are going to use middleware components or you can create your own middleware component as well okay there are authentication authorization components are also available okay if this is not clear at this moment so don't worry in our upcoming uh, videos we will discuss all these concepts again and again and that will help you to understand okay so that's it from this video i hope you like this video and if you have any question please leave a comment i will reply on that as soon as possible and in my next video we will discuss what is the aspirate and core request processing pipeline in detail okay so stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching have a good day Stay safe.